How much battery does the Xpeng G6 spends or wastes during a night? So today, after many requests, I will test and show you how much uh, energy my Xpeng G6 does spend or waste during a night. So I did record two nights, one with Sentry on and the other with Sentry off, so that we can see for a long period of time the amount of energy and millage that is lost during uh, those hours uh, by the car just being off. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Ugu and this is the Xpeng G6 Diaries, my journey with this Xpeng G6 car. So if you are new to the channel, I do publish here a lot of videos about my journey uh, from an ICE car to an EV and mainly with the Xpeng G6 that I got from Xpeng recently. So a disclaimer just before we go and check those recordings uh, that of course you need to take in consideration that this is just a test considering my uh, environmental uh, conditions and what I mean with this is that the car if it is on extreme cold or extreme hot uh, weather it will perform differently so you cannot expect that the car does perform exactly the same way as I did test it because I already noticed also that sometimes the car does spend a little bit more and sometimes it does spend a little bit less but this is just for you to have an idea of an exercise that was made randomly so I just selected a couple of days that I was not going to charge the car and I decided just to record the before and after so that you can see how much the car did spend during a night during a couple of hours um, and we will then do the math for each of them just to say how much battery we lost during uh, 10 hours or 8 hours or 1 hour period so let's see it so guys, uh, let's do this first day, so 112 kilometers remaining, 26% of battery, as you can see here, and now I will disconnect the car, turn it off, and avoid to have the um, sentry on, and uh, as you can see here, it's uh, 8, 8 of the night, 8.20, um, and then tomorrow we will see then how much battery we have spent during the night guys so welcome good morning and here we are with 25 percent of battery and 110 kilometers in this morning so now it's just doing the math to know how much battery the car spent during this amount of hours so it's currently 10 36 in the morning so it was a lot of hours so 14 hours that the car was stopped and he did spend some battery it's now time for math to know how much it did spend during the night so guys here we are with the data from these two recordings that i made with sentry off okay so this first one was with sentry off so i just disconnected the car, made sure that the sentry was off and left the car during the night. And as you can see, the data is very clear. So uh, on the night, it was 26% of a state of charge, 112 kilometers of range at eight o'clock. The temperature was very nice one and the odometer is just a setting here just to make sure that the car didn't um, move during the night. And uh, then on the day after, you see that we lost 1%, okay? 1%, you know that on this WLTP battery, that in my case, that is the standard range, um, it's around four kilometers, okay? So in, in, in fact, I see here 1%, but by the range, I see that it was less than 1%. So it was two kilometers of range that I lost during that uh, time. The time that I mentioned here is 14 hours. So this means that per hour with Sentry of my car at this temperature I repeat again be careful because this is with this environmental situation okay um, the state of uh, the per hour I lost 0 0.14 kilometers per 10 hours 1.43 kilometers per day 3.43 kilometers uh, so I'm considering here 24 hours of course and then per month so 30 days so if I left my car stopped for 30 days I would probably lose 
around 102 kilometers, so around 20-ish, 25% of the battery, the state of the, 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 state of the battery. Uh, so I do consider that it's, it's okay. Uh, I don't see any problem here with the Sentry off, okay? So now let's go and check the Sentry on recordings. I will now make the test of the battery drain during the night. So today it's 9.17 of the, nine, the night and I will then record tomorrow morning to see how much battery it was drained from my car. But today I will leave a sentry on, okay? So morning, 55% of battery, 239 kilometers after one night with sentry on. And tonight, today is 8.14 in the morning, so we will do the math to see how much energy was spent during the night with Sentry on. Okay guys, here we are again. So with Sentry on, it's a different story. So as you can see, on the night before, I had 58%. Uh, the range was around 253 kilometers. It was 9 o'clock, temperature 20 degrees and again the odometer just to check that the car didn't move and then on the day after you see that I spent 3% so there was a waste of 3% of battery during the night with the sentry on so it was around 14 kilometers so a little bit less than 3% but it's good on it already uh, and so this means that it's 1.27 kilometers per hour, 10 hours, 12.73 kilometers that I lost per day would be 30 kilometers, almost 31 kilometers during a full day. And if you consider then a month, my car would not sustain that because it would need 916 kilometers. So basically I uh, added here another um, uh, row here with uh, the amount of days that my car could take with Sentry on uh, without connected to the uh, charger. It would last 14 days just spending battery being turned off. This was a very quick one, uh, just to show you how much battery the car spent during a night with Sentry and without Sentry. And you can see that there is a big difference uh, using Sentry or not. So you need to take that in consideration, mainly if you are going to be uh, um, away from the car for several days. In my case, for instance, with Sentry on, I could not leave the car for a long period of time with a century on because the car doesn't have enough battery to sustain that consumption. So you need to take this in consideration. And again, I repeat myself because this is very important. This is just an exercise. Uh, you probably, if you do exactly this with your own car, you will see different results because the state of charge uh, of the battery, the environmental um, uh, situation, so the temperature around the car, etc., has a big impact because the car does keep the battery to, to keep it in a good state. Sometimes it needs to spend a little bit more uh, energy because it needs to uh, cool down or warm up the battery so that it is in a good state for you to drive it. So this is important. Again, I didn't disconnect fully the power of the car. This was an exercise just stopping the car, turning off the car, closing it with the key, and then make sure just that I had sentry off or sentry on to make then the calculations. Okay, guys, thank you very much again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.